Okay, to make a start on our seat clamp, what we're going to do is we're going to draw on the top plane, we're going to draw two circles. So we need to sketch on this plane, we need to sketch two circles. Smart dimension them, one is 33 millimeters, and one is 43 millimeters. Oops, 43. Next thing is we need to just zoom in a little bit and we need to put a center line using the center line tool from the origin straight up the screen so it's vertical. Next, we need to just put a normal black line in at an angle. We need to dimension between these two lines with an angle of 10 degrees. Eventually what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this onto this side as well. Next thing we need to do is put two more lines in. One up here somewhere and one coming down this way making sure that that is vertical as well. We can then use the Trim Entities tool, trim to the closest and just cut that top piece off there. Next thing we need to do is smart dimension these two lines. And we'll use 7 millimeters. And for this one, we'll use 15. Okay, that's that sketch completed. Now what we need to do is to just reflect the, these three lines across the other side. So we're going to mirror entities. First thing it's doing is asking us which entities we want to mirror. Entities is essentially, in this case, it's the lines that we want to mirror, which is this line, this line, and this line. And then it's asking us where our mirror is. And our mirror is the construction line we put in the middle. And as you can see, we've got a yellow preview to show that the mirror is going to work. Click on the tick to accept. Now what we need to do is just remove some of these lines because we don't need all of them. So click on Entities, Trim to Closest. And you can trim that line, that line, that one there, that one there. That little piece, that bit, that one, and that one. And that looks okay. Finish your trim. Exit the sketch. Press spacebar and click isometric. And then we can do an extruded boss base. Out to 15 millimeters. Sorry, 14 millimeters, not 15. Next thing, we need to draw on this bottom surface. So underneath equivalent to that surface. We're going to sketch on there and we're going to draw a circle which is 34 millimeters in diameter. Put a measurement on 34. And then we're going to do an extruded cut for 13 and not 14 millimeters. And what that does is it cuts out the bit of the seat post which allows it to go over the tube and then sit on top of the tube so it doesn't slide too far down it. Okay, so there's our seat post clamp starting to look reasonably good. Next thing is we need to round the ends of these two parts here. To round the ends, all we're going to do is going to use the fillet feature and we're going to do a full round fillet. So click on the top surface, click on the next box over this side, on that front face, next box down, scroll your drawing around a bit, and select the bottom face and then you've got a preview of the round on that front face. Click tick to accept it and then do the same again on the other side. Top face, front face, making sure you click down on the left hand side each time. And the bottom face and click to accept. And the last thing to do is to put the hole through this side where the bolt will go through. Select this face here and click to sketch. Press the space bar, click normal to, and then just zoom in on that area. Hover the cursor over the edge of the drawing, and then when the middle of the circle highlights, or middle of the curve highlights, just place your circle on there. Put a smart dimension on there of 5mm. Exit the sketch. 
spacebar isometric and then all we're going to do is going to do an extruded cut through the two features through the, the two sides two prongs here so we want a cut that's going to go through all make sure that it's just coming out the other side and then click on the tick to accept just have a quick look around make sure everything's okay that's absolutely fine okay so we've got the little ridge got the hole you've got the curve on the ends that's the, the clamp part essentially finished so press the space bar and isometric and go to file save now I've set up a, uh, a folder in my SOLIDWORKS files in my SOLIDWORKS files which I seem to have backspaced from SOLIDWORKS files called C clamp open my folder and call this one the clamp and save and that's the first component complete